Example four, what are two mechanisms by which a hormone can induce a response in a cell? Well, it can act at the level, uh, it can act at the level of the gene or it can act at the level of a protein. So in other words, it could induce transcription, it could turn a gene on, it could turn a gene off, it could activate a protein, or it could inactivate a protein. And to, so the, the, the overall two mechanisms are um, that it can affect gene function or transcription, it can affect transcription, or it can affect the protein that's already been transcribed and translated. So one and two. Why are only small amounts of a hormone needed to elicit a response in a cell? So recall the second step is transduction in cell signaling. And what occurs during transduction is amplification. So the signal is the, the hormone is, what the, is the signal, and it is amplified by the signal cascade. That one hormone binding a receptor can cause, a, that one receptor can activate many proteins or can greatly increase the level of cyclic GMP or calcium or another second messenger. Each of those second messengers can activate proteins and so on. So there's amplification in that second step of cell signaling. That concludes this lecture on plant hormones and tropisms at educator.com. Thank you for visiting.